honest, I'm not a fan of how he plays in this game. Olimar's fantastic. He's fantastic. I just don't like how the play style goes. It's all right. We're not going to be worrying about Olimar too much. We got Kirby and a herd of Yoshis duking it out. Um, and Kirby made himself green to try and blend in. I can appreciate this. Well, they are green team. Yes. Um, I haven't actually heard a lot of Kirby in this uh, game just yet. I know a lot of Kirby names from Smash 4 uh, and other previous iterations of Smash. I haven't been playing too much Kirby, so playing sort of like one of the, the last beholders of the puffball. Meanwhile, uh, Lazcap actually being one of the returning players to Aeon, uh, a lot of players started to wean away from the game as the, the meta moved to a lot more of an aggressive uh, punish-based meta for Smash 4. But with the uh, with the birth of a new game, brings back a lot of old heads. And with Lazcap returning, we, yeah. we have another one of our classic Yoshis. Of course, Raptor and Suarez being like, the premier Yoshis. And with very good reason. Like, they did a great job of showing this character can be a nuisance very early on for Ultimate. Like, as early as our uh, kickoff event, yeah. uh, Suarez had won nearly every singles event. And I believe Double Yoshi had won one of them for doubles. How can we escape when Yoshi's Island, when Yoshi's Island was inside us the whole time? There's a lot of Yoshi going on, but... Yeah. Seeing how the doubles dynamic between the the, uh, the two Yoshis, I feel will be pretty interesting. Just because Yoshi has a bunch of new tools to play around with, but is very similar to his previous iterations of Smash. Just sort of mixed together in a weird way. I've been aligning Yoshi more to his 64 uh, iteration than uh, any other, but this version of Yoshi is definitely looking to make a name of itself very early on. And unfortunately for a team kill from Green Team, see that Yoshi does not lack any kill power as that up here managed to snipe Quang despite it being from his own teammate and probably unintended. Like up here low profiles now but it still has a really solid hitbox to it. It's a bit of an odd shape but it works. As you can see last guy taking no prisoners going in for a stock on the opposite team now. I feel bad for for Brother playing here because he's gonna have to try to get in on a character who really doesn't respect any type of approach, and he can't leave Last Cap to do all the work, or else he's just gonna be rolling through his stocks and getting damaged early. Mm -hmm. What, a, what oh, approach no. options does Kirby really have for this kind of matchup anyway? He can run in and up tilt. He can attempt to short off forward air, but they're not the best of approach options. Kirby's never really had that as a tool. Does the I wanted to say new dash attack, but it's really the old old uh, dash attack. Does that help out at all? Yeah, no, burning Kirby doesn't really do much. It's, like, good for an attack to establish stage control, but not in doubles when you can have someone covering your position. And we already see a quick handoff, and that's going to be game one in favor of Double Yoshi, Raptor, and Suarez taking it. Is this the first team combo at an Aeon local? Ooh. Well, I mean, we've had doubles, so you can't really say that. Yeah. Although I am curious to see if Double Yoshi's takes the uh, the first doubles Aeon Ultimate, or if it's going to go in favor of uh, I think DZ and Sonar, uh, one of the most strong teams here. I know they just beat uh, Chris and Face. Yes. Getting to this point, and I honestly thought Chris and Face were one of the stronger teams as well. So watching Inkling and doubles is really interesting. Inkling and doubles is I don't know, man. I'm conflicted with Inkling. Like, he's able to do a whole lot of everything and a whole lot of nothing all at the same time. So, I'll be interested to see where that character goes. Because he seems to hold his own very well, but not so much in a team environment. No. I've even been leaning more towards Zelda and stuff uh, for doubles instead of Inkling. Just because even in, like, a 2v1, that is the most atrocious 2v1 I've ever played. Either way, we've got ourselves on Pokemon Stadium 2 for game... Uh, and I feel like this is a really dangerous pick for uh, Brother Quang and Last Cap, only because this stage is so powerful for Yoshi. And yeah, Green Team has a Yoshi of their own, and Ike is definitely no slouch at controlling the stage because of his new aerial tools, those being quicker than air and a brand new up air. However, 
it's still strong for Yoshi, for the other Yoshis on the other side. So this is once again going to be a battle of how well uh, Plank can assert stage control of his own right while trying to defend his teammate. Down B can go through platforms down. It's strange. It's like super threatening and not at the same time. It's like low hanging fruit. We're like, yeah, you could threaten with it. But I think the idea that you could threaten with it is better than the uh, the thing itself. And just going for the option over and over again, like you, Yoshi can get more off of other hits. Way easier, I feel. Now, is that a voluntary thing, or is yes, are you, you forced can, to go through? No, you can input to go through platforms. On the hop to rise, when you do it from the ground, uh, you'll always go through platforms, but if you're dropping down, you can control whether or not you're dropping through. All right, so even that could cause some scary mix-ups. The Yoshi's having to take turns on who's recovering to the ledge. Very funny, but Lance Cat managing to net a kill with a down B. I'm hoping that they don't rely on that, because... It's not really the best of tools Yoshi could be using, especially like if Quang is going to try to establish throw combos. Ooh. Oh, that was a gross trade. That didn't even make sense. You would think Quick Draw would be able to at least beat it out or reposition height further from the uh, sweet spot of forward air, but alas. This is what happens when you have a brain the size of a walnut. You don't take any damage from hitting it. Looking back at the game now, and it's really just uh, Suarez and Raptor running the same game plan they always do, where it's like they break out to the separate 1v1s. But now Yoshi's a lot more sufficient in those 1v1s of his own right, as well as still having a lot of the great tools that allowed him to do uh, team combos and save his teammate in Smash 4. Like, Nair is still really solid. Uh, Add up air on top of that. Up air is just a different tool as a whole. It's not the same beast that it was in Smash 4. It's brand new. And the reason I bring that up so much is because it's much more like potent for killing than it is for combos, but it's still a really good combo tool. In Smash 4, you had to make the choice on whether or not you were going to use up air to kill and try not to use it during your combos, or vice versa, where you use it as a combo tool, but now you can't rely on it to kill off the top. This game, you get the best of both worlds with it. And now we got Lazcap uh, fighting against the Yoshis. Mm, not for long, though. It's flying out pretty deep, but oh, he manages to come back. Good recovery. However, with two Yoshis being able to cover the ledge on Stadium, it's going to be a very hard mm. task that's not going to get done just yet. Yeah. The brothers Yosh move on. And fighting off against DZ and Sone in winners finals, I believe. 